Gypsy Rose Blanchard, who spent eight years in prison, is set to be released on December 28. She vividly remembers and regrets the events of June 2015, when she conspired with her boyfriend at the time, Nicholas Nick Gattajan, to kill her mother, D.D. Blanchard, RadarOnline.com has learned. D.D. had subjected Gypsy to painful medical procedures throughout her life, as it is widely believed that Gypsy was a victim of Munchausen by proxy, a rare form of child abuse. Gypsy, who was being mentally and physically abused at the time, asked Gattajan to kill her mother. He did so while Gypsy waited in the bathroom of their home in Springfield, Missouri. The story of Gypsy Rose captured the attention of the world, inspiring popular Hollywood reenactments such as HBO's 2017 film Mommy Dead and Dearest and Hulu's 2019 series The Act. Now, Gypsy Rose is preparing to share her own story in Lifetime's upcoming docuseries The Prison Confessions of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, premiering on January 5th. In an exclusive interview with People, she talks about her deep remorse and sense of forgiveness. If I had another chance to redo everything, I don't know if I would go back to when I was a child and tell my aunts and uncles that I'm not sick and mommy makes me sick, says Gypsy. Or, if I would travel back to just the point of that conversation with Nick and tell him, you know what, I'm going to go tell the police everything. I kind of struggle with that. Nobody will ever hear me say I'm glad she's dead or I'm proud of what I did. I regret it every single day, she added. DD had falsely claimed that Gypsy suffered from numerous illnesses since the age of seven. These included muscular dystrophy, which she said required Gypsy to use a wheelchair even though she could walk without issue. DD also subjected Gypsy to painful feeding tubes and falsely claimed that she had leukemia, even going as far as shaving Gypsy's head. The late mother fooled friends, family, and doctors into believing these ailments were real. In September, it was announced that Gypsy had been granted parole two years before the completion of her 10-year sentence for second-degree murder. As she prepares to re-enter society, she looks forward to reuniting with her father and stepmother, who have supported her throughout her ordeal. She is also excited to be with her husband, Ryan Anderson, a Louisiana teacher whom she married while in prison. The upcoming Lifetime docuseries will feature the perspectives of her family, former doctors, and others involved in her complicated story. As Gypsy's release date approaches, she reflected on her past and told outlets, I'm on the eve of happiness. Although she admitted she still has to deal with her past, she is looking forward to starting a new chapter in her life.